coffee on top of a mountain. What could be better? I mean, the view is actually better than coffee. Don't tell anyone I said that though. <laughs> Good morning. Considering it's not very often that we get to wake up next to a lake, I thought I'd get up and see the sunrise. Are you glad we got up for the sunrise? Yeah. It's pretty. What are you looking for? Coffee. Because there's nowhere to actually make coffee where we're staying, I'm going to run out and try and find some. Where we're staying is actually right next to the main road here in San Juan, so I'm hoping there's a cafe open. Aha. Hola. Hola. Gracias, señor. Oh, how do I do this? No! Hola, amigo. Oh, gracias, señor. Nada, nada. So I had no hands. Okay. <laughs> gracias. No I bring coffee. <gasps> gracias. No problem. Oh, yeah, coffee. Now that we've had a look at the lake from our balcony, we're going to head down to the water and look at it close up. I'm a big reader, and Aldous Huxley, the author of A Brave New World, called Lake Atitlan the most beautiful lake in the entire world. Now, I've not been to every lake, but I can tell you that it is definitely the most beautiful lake I've ever seen. 84,000 years ago, the whole lake used to be a volcano, which then erupted and collapsed into a gigantic crater that filled up with water, causing Lake Atitlan. <laughs> It's 340 meters deep and it has these incredibly steep volcanoes around it, one of which we're actually climbing tomorrow, making it some of the most dramatic landscape in the world. It's pretty cool. I'll be honest, when we started walking on this, I thought it was rocks, but it's not. It's just really hard mud. I've also just recently cleaned my shoes and now they're filthy again. We're under the pier. I love going under piers. I don't really know why, it just feels like another world. Is that weird? Is this something you do regularly? Well, when I'm at the beach, yeah. Fair enough. Have you never been under a pier before? No, I haven't actually. Really? Yeah, this is a first for me. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I feel Would very like, proud of myself. Would you like a medal? Yes, please. Oh, high five's even better. <laughs> so, what do you want to drink? What have you got? Uh, hang on. I have a rock, another rock, and today's special, another rock. Uh, I'll have three rocks on the rocks, please. <laughs> Good fun, I like that. <laughs> so we're staying in San Juan, which is one of the quieter villages on Lake Atalan. It's known for its colourful streets and its equally colourful clothing, which are actually woven by the women who live here. I feel like a celebrity. So two things just happened. One, we were walking by this house with a lovely painting of the ridge behind us, which is called Indian's Nose. That's what we're hiking up tomorrow. The guy came out of his house to tell us that the person who the ridge was named after actually used to live in that house, which is pretty cool. 
and then they proceeded to take many photos of us. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite a strange experience, I'll be completely honest. Normally we're the people asking, oh, can we take a photo, can we film this? But this time around, it was our picture getting taken. It was very strange. <laughs> I think it's your hair colour. Yeah. <laughs> We've noticed that quite a bit since we got to Guatemala. Not so much in Mexico though. There wasn't that many people fascinated by my hair there in was. Mexico. Was there? We spoke about it all the time on the vlog. Did we? Yeah. I have the worst memory. <laughs> this is the main reason why we film everything. I just have horrendous memory. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only reason that we have videos. Yeah. Vamanos. Vamanos. I've just learned that the women of this village have received international recognition for their weaving. Apparently they've been making clothes in exactly the same way for the last a thousand years. Although hopefully updating the tools a little bit to make it easier for them. Seriously though, that's incredible that they've handed down those traditions through their families for a millennia. Wait, is that a millennia? Yeah, that is a millennia. <laughs> Pretty impressive. I just can't believe it takes them a thousand years to make a pair of trousers. Ha, ha. I'm here a week. <laughs> Seeing the woman weaving the clothes while we were there was pretty cool and really impressive. Also, you know they're handmade when all of them are unique and you see the people actually making them. Not from a factory, and we like that. We found an art gallery, so we're going to take a look. No, no, it's the bar. Wow, my chocolate bonbon. Uh, okay. Yes. This is a piñata? Yes, piñata. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so they, they all want the sweets then? Yeah. <laughs> well, that was the happiest man I've ever met in my life. <laughs> he has a great job. He paints all day by the waterfront and then just chats to people. Yeah. Although not all tourists are as nice as us. Yeah. <laughs> We've also just found out what time we're meeting our guide for the hike tomorrow. 4 a.m. Woo! <laughs> but he's meeting us pretty much where we're staying, I think, so we don't have to get up till half three, which is a bonus. I'm really looking forward to our hike tomorrow. It took us a few attempts to find a guide, but now that we've got one, I'm super excited to hike to the sunrise. It's 4 a.m. and yesterday getting up at this time seemed like a good idea, but I'm kind of regretting it now. Hopefully it'll be worth it. Now, vamanos, we need to meet our guide. Hola, hola. Buenos días. Hola. Buenos días. Hola. Bien. Listos. Bien. Listos. Uh, Ready? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> that was my nose. <laughs> Aha! There we go. Fantastic. Okay, you go first, I'm going to go after you. Okay. So. Cool. I'll go after you to the light. Here. Yeah, no problem. I'm surprised how warm it is doing this hike. I've peeled off one of my free jumpers already. I might take another one off. At least it's not windy. It's been really windy in this town so far. But so far, not too windy. I reckon that will change though when we get to the top. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the sun's now starting to come over the mountains and it's a beautiful orange colour. So we need to be quick and head on up to the viewpoint before it comes over the mountains properly. We picked the hard route to go up to, right to the nose rather than the mouth, so hopefully we make it in time. I love that you pointed to your nose just in case somebody doesn't know what a nose is. <laughs> we're getting pretty near the top now. I'm pretty sure all we've got to do now is follow that path up there and then to the left. It was definitely worth getting up at this time. Whew. We finally got enough light from the sunrise that I don't need the head touch anymore.
<laughs> yeah. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Do you know that you've still got your flashlight on your head? I do. <laughs> do you need it? Just in case. Uh, right. <laughs> Salute. 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 Coffee on top of a mountain. What could be better? I mean, the view is actually better than coffee. Don't tell anyone I said that though. <laughs> We've been to and seen some pretty cool and pretty beautiful places on this channel so far in the past eight months. This, I think, is one of the best. Yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was also one of the hardest climbs. So the moral of that story is the harder the climb, the better the view. It's also <laughs> the only climb we've done that had coffee at the end. That's true, actually. Many, yeah. many of the hikes have had coffee at the beginning, but not at the end. <laughs> Sorry, I know you're having a deep moment with the camera and I just made it about coffee. That's pretty usual. <laughs> <laughs> it is incredibly beautiful though. Yeah, I'll be honest, when we got up this morning, it was difficult to get out of the house and get going, but mm -hmm. I cannot even describe how worth it is. It's so amazing up here. Yeah. And it was so difficult that we actually forgot to kind of give you an overview of why we keep calling it the nose and the mouth. So yeah. we'll tell you about that in a minute. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, thank you. No, thank you. So this is our guide, Edwin. He's been absolutely lovely, teaching me Spanish, giving us loads of information about all the landscapes and everything. It's been a great experience. If you want to do the hike, he's a great guide, so we'll leave his information down below. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you so much. Perfecto. Thank you. <laughs> sí, muchas gracias. No, gracias a ti. <laughs> That hike really was one of the most beautiful ones I've ever done. The view was incredible. If you're ever in San Juan and you want to come and do this hike, we absolutely recommend it. Speaking of recommendations, we're actually going to head and get some breakfast and we're going to somewhere that our guide Edvin told us about. So, now that we've had some breakfast, I feel up to giving you the information about the hike we just did. Look at my feet, they're so dirty. I'm not gonna show you my feet on camera. The ridge we just climbed up is called Rostro Maya, or in English, the face of a Mayan person. That's because it literally looks like the face of someone if they're lying on their back with their profile. Kind of like this. And we climbed up the nose, which is the, why am I telling them where my nose is again? The nose is the highest bit and honestly, I did not think that we'd be able to get up there, but we did, and it was spectacular. You may have heard of a really famous viewpoint on Lake Atatlan called Indian's Nose. It's the same place. It's just that the name Indian's Nose comes from colonialist times, when they refer to everyone who wasn't European as Indian. And as you probably know, the people here are Mayan. I think we've said this a few times already, but it really was an incredible hike. And I don't know if we addressed this, but the reason we got a guide was A, because the hike started at night and we don't know how to spot a snake in the dark. And B, because we've heard that there are bandits who will take advantage of people if they're hiking without a guide. So, safety first. Right, now I've explained all of that, I'm gonna go wash my dirty feet. Hello. Hi! He's a good boy. I accidentally left the tripod at home when we came to do the hike. So this is my makeshift tripod. Rock, stones, lens cap. I think it worked. You struggling to get that back on the hanger? <laughs> I did it. Well it's, done. It's a really cool jacket. Uh, yeah, the sleeves are a bit short though. <laughs> oh, no, my back. Can you limbo? No. No? <laughs> Good job. You'll go. Limbo, yeah. limbo. <laughs> I 
Do the hand job, baby. <laughs> How low can you go? That's from Greece, isn't it? How low can you go? How low can you go? How low can you go? <laughs>